Welcome to BizTakeouts TV. We're at the Cape Town Convention Center for the 2014 Design in Daba, where the world's creative people come to get inspired and share knowledge. Let's go chat to these folks. Everything in our store is handmade and everything is African. So the Design in Daba is perfect for me for finding new, new products. So there's a couple of furniture manufacturers here. You know, when we build a deck, often the client wants a table or something to go on their deck. So we can work with them, you know, they're carpenters and so are we. The quality has been really, really good. A lot of people think that local design isn't necessarily on par with the quality standards of international design. What I do like and appreciate is uh, to see sort of brands that are really pushed through over the years and uh, bring out products. Previously it sort of get placed in the media, but now actually bringing like generation two and three and uh, really defining new patterns and strategies for the future. As the winner of the, of the brand defined brandy bar um, design, what, what was your inspiration behind the design? According to the brief, they wanted to extend brandy to a sort of a new, a young audience. Uh, and they wanted someone to, to design a bar that conveys that fresh look. We showcase the, the sort of mastery that is brandy because we have amazing brandy makers in South Africa. When you look at something, what is your starting point when coming up with a creative concept for, for a design? I, I really think of design as being a kind of a conversation that, that's a journey towards an end product that usually is, is something you couldn't have anticipated in the first place. What's, what's really stood out for you and going, wow, the, the creative juices are flowing in Cape Town. Obviously, it's World Design Capital 2014. So what, what are your highlights of Cape Town? I love the, the vibe of it. I love the, uh, the place we've gone around or went around. There's a, a, the sense of uh, a, people enjoy being, being here, people enjoy the moment. Um, I've been to many across the world and I don't think I've been to any that have the energy and um, kind of vitality uh, and breadth of ambition that this one does. So I'm, I'm, I'm hugely impressed. From the, the conference over here, have any other speakers really touched you? What's kind of really gotten your creative juices flowing and inspired you? Um, design in Dove is interesting because, I don't know, I think it operates in a world that I'm not really, that I know exists, but I kind of function parallel to it, you know? Thomas Hatherwick was great, a great colleague and a great presentation, great uh, work. Um, you know, I would have to mention all of them. I'm, I was just blown away also to see the variety, you know, the different takes on design. And I think it's really confirming, you know, that everyone somehow, you, you feel that it comes deep from their hearts, right? What is a big inspiration for me was um, actually meeting Ravi and engaging with him. And the fact that this is all of his, you know, just as a brown man in the world. Like, I really have a lot of respect for what he's done and what he's created for himself and therefore a bunch of other people like. What does creativity smell like? Actually, I would like to say creativity has you know, numerous smells and they actually range from really bad to really fantastic. No, creativity smells like a better place. For this design in Doba, it smells like a really good uh, pot still brandy, I guess. Ah, uh, it smells like um, when I'm really attracted to somebody and I can there's like the specific sense, the specific pheromone that they give off. Creativity, you know, it smells like two things. Sometimes it's a bit like if you're creative, you're not taken seriously. On the other hand side, you know, a lot of great business thinkers are pretty creative. So it, it smells like, you know, like a two-in-one to me. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. And that has been the coverage of Design in Dub 2014. And we've been inspired and got creative with our ending. We'll see you next year.